Hot dog, Buck Owens, 1957, Buck Owens and his buckaroos, I believe. So today, uh, firstly, uh, I just wanna, you're probably noticing different environment. I'm working from home today. Um, Milo is a little bit unwell. He made a little guest appearance wanting to come downstairs, but um, I've made a deal with, the, uh, with my wife <laughs> to uh, look after him for a bit this morning so I can get this video out to you guys because um, I hate going too long without posting a tutorial and a lesson. So today we are, I am delivering to you, as mentioned, Buck Owens hot dog. Hey, big Buck. Big Buck. You wanna go with Big Buck? Big Buck. Yes, Big Buck. <laughs> He's, yeah, just, just fevers, nothing major, um, but he can't go to daycare, so uh, I'm in charge of him shortly after this video. So of course, before we start, don't forget if you want the transcription for this and many, 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 many other tutorials, they're all on the Patreon. So, you know, uh, if you'd like to join, jump on there. It's two, five, 10 or $20 a month at this point. But there is something very special coming soon. Maybe an Adrian White online with everything cataloged and organized, something coming. It's gonna be very exciting. If you are a member of the Patreon, it's it could be a natural progression for you. Or if you're not and you want something that's providing a gen, you know, a service that's all there, uh, that's purposefully designed, for your guitar learning experience, well, keep an eye out. I've got some good friends working on that behind the scenes. So, we start this song with the uh, playing the double bass line. I incorporated that. I thought that would be really cool to have in there. And that's nice and simple. So that's the fifth string open. Let me just shift around a little so you can see that fretboard nice and clearly. Fifth string open. Um, we've got the fourth fret there. That's an A and then a C sharp. So A, C sharp. E, F sharp, that's on the fourth fret. And then we've got the A there on the third string. So, bum, 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 bum. so and you'll see too when I play that, I kind of like to drop the pick down just a little early to sort of simulate that double bass plonk, you know, the, the sort of staccato nature. Bum, 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 bum. You could also relax the left hand as you do that. Bum, 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 bum. So that's the that's just that bass line. You don't even have to play it. You could sit it out uh, until the the next bit. So I've got it marked as bar number five, uh, where the guitar starts strumming. Uh, I think he, you know, you, there's sort of one guitar strums, then another guitar strums a little, little bit later. So you could choose where you come in, um, but it's really just an A chord strum. So if you know how to play an A chord, Milo guest appearing again, uh, fifth string. We've got fifth string, fourth string, third string, second string, first string, obviously strumming. Um, I'm holding the second fret on the fourth string, second fret on the third string, and second fret on the second string. You probably know how to play an A chord, but that's it there. And we just relax, don't hold the pick too tight. You don't want this sound. If you, if you find it sounding a little bit harsh, 
just relax your grip. It should be like a paintbrush, okay? Okay, nice relaxed grip on it. Nice, you know, relax your wrist and your arm. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And their quave is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Okay, so from here, uh, we go back into the bass line. Bum, 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 bum. Um, that's marked as bar nine on the transcription. Uh, and again, you actually don't have to play. You could come off that A chord and stop. My baby works at the hot dog stand. So then you get that the verse there. Or me personally, just for fun to play along, you come off the A and start on the uh, finish on the A chord and come in on the fourth fret there. So. Bum, 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 bum. So you'll finish it there, and it goes into the chorus now, uh, which is, we got there pretty quickly, didn't we? So bar 17, I've got the D7 marked, and that's a D7. Uh, we've got the A on the third string, the C on the second string, and the F sharp there. And it's the same technique, we're just strumming lightly. Come back to the D7. And you just stop when you strum that A, okay? Ray Nichols, I believe it was. Was it Ray Nichols? On guitar? Ray Nichols. Have I said that? Or Roy Nichols? Ray Nichols. I think I've forgotten. Uh, but it was someone Nichols. I think it was Roy Nichols. Was the actual electric guitar player on this track. So we actually are kind of... Uh, we're, when we get into the guitar solo, we're, I think we're actually probably switching kind of from what Buck Owens was playing to what... Uh, Mr. Nichols was playing. I can't believe I've forgotten whether it was Royal Ray. It's just too early in the day <laughs> today. Okay, so so that's the chorus. Comes back to A. D7. And well, you can you can again hit that chord and walk into uh, that note. Now a really interesting thing happens here the first time around where we come off the back of that D7 and we stop one, two, three, four, one, two. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, so it's important that I explain this because it sets us up for the next verse. And if you don't get the timing right, it kind of doesn't really work. So we need that little bar of two at the end of bar 24 or at bar 24. So we come up to the D7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. Then we do two bars of A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we start the next verse. Okay, so really important you understand there's that little two bar gap there, uh, or else you're just probably going to come in at the wrong spot. So we hit that A after the D7, and we stop, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. Da 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 Okay, so keep that in mind, uh, or else you you know you 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 will find that confusing if you're not you know clued up to that little bar of two. It's a sneaky little thing. So then uh, we go through the whole verse again. We we go through the chorus. D seven, and this time. So you you finish on that A. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and we start the guitar solo. So this bit gets a little more, yeah, this bit is arguably a bit more challenging, uh, but I'm going to show you the easy way, and then I'm going to explain the more difficult way for the more experienced players that want to give it a shot. So what I want you to do is we're at bar 26, and we're going to go one, two, three, and four, and one, and just stop there on that one. One, two, three, and four, and one. Okay, and that takes us into bar 27. Then what we do, we play the fifth fret on the third string and the fourth fret on the second string. And I want you to just go like this. And notice I strum up, so. Okay. Okay. Play like that. If you're playing with someone playing an A chord, that's going to sound great, and that's going to be everything that you need to do. So what I'm doing, I'm just sliding up into the sixth fret, and my first finger is coming with me into the fifth fret. And if we really want to be fussy, you could just pick it all down. 
that would be totally fine. But if you want to keep that rhythm, it's up, down, up, down, up. Okay? Sounds like I'm being fussy, and I am, but there's a good reason for it. It means you're maintaining the down up that you would be doing if you were just strumming. Watch my hand. Ooh, hand. Harder. All the while, hit the first string open as well. I forgot to mention that before. Okay. How good does that sound? Try not to block that first string with the first finger. Okay, we don't want to do that. Uh, we don't want... If we can get that nice and tall. Okay, make sure there's a gap in here. If you're flat with your thumb or your thumbs up there and you're doing that, you're going to kill that string. Just make sure there's a nice gap there. So I keep playing one short, it should be... That's right, so that's it, that's that part, and that's what we do over the D. Now, uh, we do the same thing, sorry, over the A. Over the D, we do the same thing, but we're playing this note, these notes here, we're playing the uh, sixth fret on the third string and the sixth fret on the second string. We can even do a little flick uh, um, at the end of it as we transition. It is there in the recording, you can actually hear he bumps the open strings in between, which I, I really like, so. See that is just sort of you know off the off the back of that swinging. Okay, so when we do the six and the six into the seven, up, down, up, down, up. Flick the open ones at the end. Same same with the A seven. Flick the open ones at the end. We come back to the A. And then we do it from the 8th fret into the 9th fret, up, down, up, down, up, open with an up, and back to the A. Um, but the very last time on A, it's a little shorter. Okay, we just finish a little early to give us room to set up for the next part, okay? So let me play through that whole section slow. I feel like I probably haven't done the best job of explaining that. Let me just go through it slow. Three, four, one. Oh, let me... Um... I'll count you in. One, two, three, and four, and one. Should have stopped a little early on that last one, but then that that will give us time. It doesn't matter if you play right through; you'll just have less time to get to this part. But I would check out the song and check out that playthrough at the beginning. You can see where it stops to give time to get to here, which is the next part. Uh, so that next part it comes in. So we've gone through everything there from uh, bar twenty-seven. 28 to uh, 26 technically up to bar we're now up to bar 39 okay if you want to take a quick look at how to do the advanced bit i'll break the first one down the rhythms will be the same for the d and the e uh, and the technique will be very much the same but i uh if you aren't going to play this just check it out anyway because it's really cool uh but i'll keep it short so we can finish the song for those that are not taking the insanely hard route so uh, I'm not sure if this is one guitar or two on the recording. It's taken a little bit of mucking around to figure out how to make it work. But what, what we can do is this. Okay, so what I'm doing there is I'm keeping that fifth string going and I'm going and four and one and I'm picking up as I pluck the third, second and first string. As I pick down, I slide up into the... Uh, into the 6th and 5th fret, so. Then I pick up, and this time I've got to do it with a down and a pinch, so pinch, and as I pick up, I slide, uh, and then I pick down on its own on the 5th string, and then this time it's with an up again, and as I pick down, I slide in, 
and then I pick up and this time I pinch with the down and I slide up as I pick up and then we're down and then as I pick down I'm sliding up, pick up and then I'm pinching all together and as I pick up I slide up as well. So there was a lot happening right there. You might need to watch that a couple of times but if I was to explain the basic premise, it's with an upstroke and then, and then sliding as I down and then I pick up and then we reverse the whole thing. It's all with a downstroke. So I pick down and pinch, slide up as I pick upwards, pick down on the fifth string and then we do it with the upstroke again. Yeah, it's better if I just shut up and play that so you can... So it's just a repeated idea that's starting on a beat and off the beat, and that means sometimes you know you'll you'll alternate picking it down and sliding up. You play the little drone note on its own, and then the next time um, you'll pick it up and and slide. Did I say that right? Pick it up, slide as you pick down, and then we pick it down and slide up as we pick up. You get the idea. I'm probably not helping at all now. So the next uh, next thing that happens in the song um, for everybody, not just the, the, the advanced players that want to punish themselves with something really complicated. Um, and by the way, obviously it does that. Same same idea on the D and the E. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll keep moving along because I'm sure people want to know what's happening in the rest of the song, in the rest of the solo. So after we finish that, passage uh, on the E. We finish there. And then we go, we get this little pedal steel lick. So we're actually playing on the 12th fret there and the, with the pinky and the third finger is there on the 12th fret as well. Like that. Okay, so that little lick there, what we do is we anchor our finger there nice and strong and we bend the 12th fret on the second string as we you can pinch the two strings like a hybrid pick style. It sounds really nice and I think that's what's happening. Or you can just pick them both. Also sounds good. So this part goes one, two, three, four. So we finish by playing the 12 and the 10. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Really keep that strong. And when I, when I bend, I use two fingers and I imagine that I'm sliding the string along the fret, okay? Okay, and then right where you are after doing that lick the way I just did. Okay, so by the way, on the transcription, this is, uh, you probably already figured this out, but this is up at bar 39. Okay, so one, two, three, four. And then we hold that there like that and we just strum like crazy. Okay, so we're doing that for two bars, one. Uh, it's sort of like, sort of triplets, sort of semicolon. It's just a bit wild, so you just go for it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And on the fourth beat of the second bar of that wild strumming, we're putting our third finger here, and we're just catching that for a little bit. Don't worry about it being perfect. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, like that. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And once you get that in, hopefully you've landed on uh, bar 45. Yeah, no, it's sort of the, the twelves are on the one, and we pull off there, uh, just like that, and then we we do this little little bend like that. So just like that, and then you do that lick from before. Okay, so that whole passage: two, three, four, uh, 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 two, three, four. Uh, uh. Then we're here. Uh, Same league as before. And then we get this really cool thing where we just go, uh, we do the little bend and we just sort of keep repeating it. So we go. So, so we're bending, we straighten it and we pick them again. And then we do this. Okay, so what I'm doing there, I'm just holding the 10 and the 12. That's with my pinky, that's with my first, and I'm just putting that down, okay? Down, strike, and as I strike up, I put the third finger on the 12th. And that's for two bars, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. 
So on that little bit there, I've actually taken it right back to... Yeah, what I've done here on the transcription, I've put... Uh, so we've, we've hit the 10 and the 12, and the last bit, so... And I've jumped into there. Now, don't stress if you can't make it. This is bar 51 on the transcription. You don't have to play that bass line anyway, so you could just let that ring. And jump in next time around if you can't get there quick enough. Yeah, it's a big, it's a quick jump. It's a big ask um, to get back to the verse on the bass line by the second note. You could even jump in on the third note of the bar uh, in, in bar 51. So DSL coda actually means we go right back to this, the sign, the symbol, which will, which the, the guitar profile will do this for you. But if you uh, follow along uh, just through a PDF, you'll see that it takes you back to bar 10, which takes you back through the verse uh, with including the repeat. So we do the verse twice, exactly the same as before. And then the song, it goes back to a chorus. Okay. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it even does, yeah, it does it another verse around, just like the start of the song with the two verses. But after the second chorus, one, two, three, four, and we finish with this A chord. And that's actually, that's the whole song. So everything you learned at the start was everything that happens after the solo, um, other than this chord, which is an A chord, but instead of being here, it's A, C sharp, E, A, just like that. Like an F chord, F, G, A. So that's it, everyone. I uh, hope you really enjoyed that. Uh, keep an eye, you know, especially Patreon members, well, all my subscribers, keep an eye out. There's some really, really exciting news coming um, with a really amazing resource that's being put together by some really great friends of mine. Uh, who are also fantastic, you know, web developers, marketers. They're just great people to have on board. They actually were fans of um, uh, well, one of the guys. He's a, he's a Patreon, and it all came about through that because the Patreon is not really the most flexible platform for, for what I'm doing. So, yes, there's going to be some exciting things coming. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, click like, and all that stuff, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one.